Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the best way to start your downswing. Now, best way to start your downswing. Um, what I really wanna talk about today is the topic of uh, should you start your downswing with your arms and hands or should you start your downswing with your body? And I wanna talk about specifically which one's correct, which one should you be doing, and how do you know for you which one of those two would be the best idea? Now, in a lot of our videos, we talk about the idea of not pulling the arms and hands down from the top. And then inevitably someone will say, but Eric, I pull my arms and hands down from the top and I hit it good. And my response would be, excellent, keep doing it. Um, but really the response is for certain people, pulling down from the top could make sense. And for certain people, people, people pulling down from the top uh, doesn't make sense. And I wanna explain why overall, we don't recommend pulling down from the top. If I were to just hit a normal shot, or you look at a normal golf swing here, let me just make a normal swing. And you were to watch that swing and you looked at the sequence of events, it shouldn't appear when you watch a good player as if it's all or nothing. It shouldn't appear when you watch them like, okay, clearly they don't make a downswing just arms and hands, or just uh, all arms, right? They don't just pull from the top and do no body. Clearly I don't hit, like I don't hit like this, right? Uh, just a pull with no body motion. I also don't hit with a big pull and holding my body back, right? A big kind of pull down from the top and my body second. I, I clearly don't hit like that, right? People don't hit balls like that. I also don't hit without pulling my arms and hands down. I can't possibly hit a ball without my arms and hands dropping some amount, right? You've never hit the ball. So there is a mix of those two things. Let's clear that out of the way, right? Either one of those two is not inherently correct. It's not black or white. You shouldn't just pull down. Nobody does that. And you shouldn't just use your body. No one does that. The question is what do you need to feel as though you do so that it looks like a good blend of the two of them. Now, why do we not like pulling the shaft down? There are two, there's always two it seems, two specific reasons why we don't like that. Number one, when you make a downswing from the top of your uh, backswing, it's more or less a race between your body and the club. If we accept that we wanna have about as much rotation as possible, if I wanna be as open as possible, we agree that good players have more rotation, what would be the easiest way to have more rotation? Well, it's a race. At the top of my backswing, my body has turned some amount and my arms and hands have moved some amount, right? Now to get back to impact, both of those things have to happen again. My body needs to turn some amount and my arms and hands need to move some amount. The deal is this, from the top of the backswing, the quicker or sooner or more I get my arms and hands in front of my body from the top, the less time I have to do what? open my body up. And then the opposite is true. The sooner or more I can get my body open before my arms and hands come down, okay, the greater chance that I have of getting my body open, right? If you're gonna race someone, do you want a head start or do you want them to have a head start? Okay, you'd like a head start. Well, what are you doing? You're racing, trying to get your body open. Your goal is for the body to win, not the arms and hands, right? That's everyone's end goal. Body to win, not arms and hands. So if you currently don't get your body open enough, then you need to feel as though your body gets a big head start. Here's the problem. Your body really can't get a head start, okay? The issue is, and what you need to do, is slow your arms and hands down. So the reality is you're at the top, you can't get a head start with your body, but you can slow down your arms and hands. Okay, you with me? If I can't get a head start with my body, I can leave my arms and hands back and get my body going, right? If I'm racing someone and someone was physically holding them back and I start running, that still counts as a head start. That's essentially what we're doing. I want your arms and hands back 
and let your body opening, okay? So that's the deal. Now, if you are at the top and you pull your arms and hands down and you still have enough time to get open, like if you feel that and you're still plenty open at impact, then that's fine. Then don't leave your arms and hands back. Feel like you pull down. If you, from the top, feel like you pull your arms and hands down to start the swing and it creates rotation for you and that's how your brain does it, perfectly fine. You can feel that all you want if it gets you the desired end goal. You guys with me on that? So overall rotation is really the biggie there. And the second part of it now, switching gears a little bit, is the downswing, what the shaft does. What we find typically is from the top, when I pull the club down or try and start with the shaft, start with my arms and hands, the shaft typically tends to steepen. Because I'm pulling on the grip downward, this upper part and the weight in the club starts to tip and steepen. Most of you guys understand that that's not a good recipe for good golf. Good golfers, you watch any of them, the shaft tends to lay down some amount, not a lot usually, but some amount in transition. So if you pull down and it steepens, then you shouldn't pull down, right? How can I get the shaft to lay down more? Do the opposite of pulling your arms and hands down from the top, which would be leaving them back up there, letting your body go, and letting the shaft lay down some amount. Is that going to magically work for all of you guys? Absolutely not. Is it gonna move you guys in the direction of what you should be doing? Yes, you also need to know you can feel whatever the heck you wanna feel so long as you produce a desired end, end result. Is there gonna be one or two people watching who feel like they pull down and the shaft lays down nice and they open up nice? Yes, and then you should feel a pull down. But for most people, you have to understand those motions don't create good movements. They usually create steep and usually don't have enough time for your body. So once you guys understand that, in terms of how you feel those things, as always, I want you just to start with feels. If you're used to not having enough rotation and the shaft gets steep, then you need to feel the opposite. Feel like you go up to the top and you're at the top and you leave your arms and hands up there and you get going with your body. Now when I do that, my arms and hands don't pull down, right? They stay where they're at. Now that might feel like they're going up as you come down. You can feel whatever you want from there, right? But understand, in reality, in a golf swing, there's a blend. Your arms and hands are coming down as I go. These are just feels that go along with it. So, Understand that first, play around with that. There's no black or white, whatever feels produce the desired end goal makes sense. So for me to help you guys more with that, I would have to see your particular swing, but you can take those general concepts and apply them to your game and hopefully get you moving in the right direction. So if you guys have any more questions with that, just leave a comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you like this video, please do me a favor, click the like button down below, click the notification bell if you haven't, and also please subscribe if you haven't. Another reminder, if you do want more instruction for you tailored from me, cagornogolf.com is our membership site. The link is in the description down below. Thank you guys.